Hey guys, it's Riley from Riley's Outlet, and today I am filming a makeup video. Well, like, of course I am, but like, <laughs> I'm filming a makeup collection. I guess. So, um, I'm gonna start with, with what's over here. Like, I, cause, like, I have this whole section, my trash can, caboodle, and my, um, desk, and then we have squishies over here if anyone gets stressed. <laughs> so, first, we have this pink cup, and it has all my brushes in it. Um, we have some oval brushes, my brush set brushes, we have, um, this random Essence brush, Essence Company, um, we have this Claire's brush, Wet n Wild, Elf, different varieties. Then, in the middle of my organizer and my cup, we have all my lip care stuff. Because I have an obsessive amount of lip care. As you can see. Um, but, I don't have completely lip care in here. I have some lotion um, in there, too. That I use. A little goes a long way, though. So, like just like to moisturize my hands a little bit that's why i use a little bit it's for very dry and com compromised skin it's by utrecience utrecience oh no so it smells pretty good. Not the best, but like. So for lip glosses, three lip glosses. I have this Pucker Pop. It's Panda Pucker Pop. In the flavor. Guys, I literally have it. In the flavor. Yeah. Why can't I open my Pucker Pop? In the flavor vanilla. Then, I have this Wet n Wild um, Mega Slips Lip Gloss. It has a black lid, some white stuff, and then the lip gloss tube. It's just pink with some sparkles, but it just comes out tinted, like, like tinted sparkles. Then, I have this Katie Cat um, Lip Gloss in the color Kitty Karma. It's really pretty pink. But I think it's more of like a lips, like, yeah, it's more of like a liquid, it's like a lipstick, a liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss combined. It has the formula of a lip, um, lip gloss, but like, it's like liquidy, but then, like, who would put this over something? Like, do you see how bright this is? I don't think it's a lip gloss, I think it's like a lip product. That's what I'm gonna say. And then for lip, like actual lip care, um, I have a chap, a Nivea Mint and Minerals lip care chapstick in the color Mint and Minerals. But it's kind of smells like my grandma's house. Doesn't it smells like Grammy's house? It smells like. Describe it. Then I have the Elf Lip Exfoliator in the flavor Mint Maniac. Please focus. Please. Please. Mint Maniac. So, in order to use this properly, you have to put it on for a week. You have to put it on for a week in order for it. To actually work, it doesn't smell like mint. It smells kind of bad, actually. 
then to move on to my liquid lipsticks. Oh, I like my liquid lipstick favorite, but I have like six lipsticks. Um, so I have two Wet n Wild um liquid lipsticks. I have they're both the liquid catsuit ones. But I have one in Nudie Patootie. Nudie Patootie. Please. 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 Nudie Patootie. And, um, Ripple Rose. Come on. Come on. Rebel Rose. So those are, these are my two favorite lipstick, lip products. Not care products. Then I have my lip trio. I have this lip trio and my wet and wild lip trio. I have these three Rebecca Beauty lipstick trios. I have the color Georgia, the color Survivor, and the color Fancy. Sorry, guys. I'm just putting them on randomly. That's my Rebecca Beauty lip trio, and then my Wet n Wild lip trio. I have, oh no, who put it away like that? That's smushed up against the top. I have cashmere. These are all the colors. I have cashmere, breeze brides, which is super lessened pink. Really pretty. And then I have the color spotlight red. All from Wet n Wild. It's not even in focus. I have spotlight red, cashmere, and breeze brides. Those are my Wet n Wild lipstick trios. I don't use them as much because I'm more obsessed with my liquid lipsticks now. But like, yeah. Then, this might be in two parts, but like, or it just might be really long. Over here, I have, so like here, how it is. My, my brushes, my lip care, then my drawers so on top we'll start with on top i have these kirkland um signature baby wipes it gets the job done so like not complaining even though they're baby wipes and then in the first drawer i have a bunch of sponges and then i have scrubby buddy i got scrubby buddy then i have 15 of these just plain white wedge jumbo wedges. Stop, 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 stop. No. Then I have a bunch in the second drawer. I have a bunch of these cotton rounds. They just look like this. They help you remove your makeup. Then in the third drawer, I have some more random miscellaneous items. So I have my two beauty blenders, my L'Oreal one. Ooh, that hard. This one's really hard. Oof. This one's like kind of hard, but it's squishy. It's like a legit squishy. But then like this one on the other hand. Yeah. So I have my two sponges. I have three of these random sponges. This one is from, um, what? Oh! <laughs> this one is from the, um, what is it from? I don't know. But this one's from my highlighter. And this one's just a random sponge I had. So, I got my sponges. Then I have this powdered foundation brush. If I ever have powdered foundation, where I want to use it on someone. Then I have two miscellaneous products which don't fit in my um, caboodle. I have my, um, just because they're like oddly shaped. 
I have, well, not the primer. The primer just doesn't fit anywhere. I have my Wet n Wild. I also have, no. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Low Highlighting Bar in the color Air. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, the one time I didn't swatch. Look at that. Precious. My hand is so crunching. I have to put it back. You have to ask if you want to touch something. Fine. Then I have the Bare Minerals Foundation Primer. Prime time. I stopped using this because it felt like chalky on my hands and it just felt really gross on your face. Like whenever you touch your face, it would be all chalky and I was, mm -hmm. I just didn't like that. So, yeah. Then, speak, um, since I have two other wipes, I have these wet ones. So, 20 of them. So, yeah. Now, moving on to my caboodle. Oh, wait. Then I have this box of stuff. Just my makeup book and my shadows. I need to find a better place to put them because right now they're not getting as used as much. In the big tier, it's just a mess. Like the bottom tier, so like, it's just a mess. But, um, first I have this e.l.f. Thank Excuse me. This e.l.f. finishing and setting powder in the shade, um, Fair Light. Oh, that other sponge is from this, if you're wondering. Here it is. It's just a neutral tone. It's just like a powder. So, yeah. That's that. Then I have my Wet n Wild Mega Low Contouring Palette in the shade Contour. So, can you not? <laughs> and it's just a contour. Just a contour. And a powder. It makes um I think the powder's there if um the contour's too can you stop? I didn't go through that stuff yet. If the contour is too dark, or you can just use that as powder. I've seen people hit pan on it. I don't know how you hit pan on the white one, because like I don't even use it as much. But like the contour, I could see myself hitting pan on. Just not the powder as much. And then another miscellaneous item. I don't know why it's in there though, because the bottom drawer I just throw random stuff in there. I have the this and I can actually throw more some eyeshadows and stuff in there all my color pop ones because like they're not getting used as much i have the nars eyeshadow in the shade dione it's really pretty and like it has a mini mirror like i haven't seen any individual eyeshadows have a mini freaking mirror like and it gets like so close to your eye like you can see like exactly what you're doing. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Done. Okay, then. <laughs> Next, I have a bunch of random eyes. And you know what? I don't want the eyeshadows in here. I only have one or two eyeshadow palettes in there. But I have four Color Shock Color Pop eyeshadows. Gold one, a purple one, a brown one, and like an iridescent pink one. But I have this Lorac 3 in 1, CoverGirl 4 in 1, oh, and it's broken. Look what she's done, Riley. And then this Mark palette. Throw them back in the box. Yes! Leave him alone. He's gonna run away. Then I have the Rimmel London Fix and Go Stay Matte 2 in 1 Primer and Setting Spray. Like I said, they're just all randomly thrown in here. This is, a, and one other thing, is the only eyeshadow palette I have in there because, like, they fit. 
they have the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette. And this is my favorite palette, if you did not know. It's great for making fall looks or any type of neutral look, so. Then I have my powdered foundation. I freaking hate this packaging, because, like, it doesn't, like, if you clip it, it doesn't even stay there. So, like, like I said, I don't really use this one anymore because it's powder, but it makes your face, like, shiny, so, like, can you... And it blends into any type of skin tone, though, so that's the good thing. But it just makes your face shiny, so, like... Then I have my favorite highlighter. My Maybelline New York Master Fairy Highlighter by Face Studio Illuminating Powder. My favorite highlighter. See, this one clips in. So, yeah. I say so yeah a lot. Count how many times I say so yeah in this video. And tell me how many times I said so yeah. So, then I have the e.l.f. correcting palette in the shade cool. There's green, pink, yellow, and blue. They're not very pigmented because it's in cool. Like... like cool shades not very pigmented at all so yeah and then there's three more things in here we have the claire's um eyeshadow palette and um this is the holographic one it comes with like 99 shades or something. Um, yeah, I think it comes with like 100 shades or something. I don't know. But it's 9 by 4. So it's 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 4. And that's how many shades there are, I think. I don't know. Her lashes are so voluptuous. Yeah. <laughs> then I have the e.l.f. concealer and highlighter, but I only use the concealer, and I'm going to get an individual e.l.f. concealer. Then I have this MAC Studio Sculpt SP15 foundation in the shade S, in the shade or number or letter. NC20. So that's all my stuff. And I'm literally just going to throw all my stuff back in here because that's how it was before. That's literally how it was before. All thrown in there. Then to my second, my tiniest side pocket thingy, I have my CoverGirl. I'm actually going to put this in the miscellaneous drawer because, like, it doesn't really fit. Is my CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Proof Waterproof Mascara. And I'm thinking about... It. it landed in there. But <laughs> let me just think because, like, you're done with. <laughs> but I'm still going to use you because like, you're, like, my favorite right now. Um, I'm thinking of getting a non-waterproof mascara. So, like, people want, like... If they can, so they can take off their mascara, they can have regular mascara, not waterproof. So, yeah. Then, I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Oh. So, yeah. That's that. Then, I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I use this primer a lot now, and I'm thinking of getting the tone adjusting one because I want it. So, that's all. <laughs> then I have the Makeup Professional Paris HD Powder. This one gives major flashback because I don't use it anymore. And it makes you look kind of ashy and pale. I'm a, like, I'm a tan person in general, so, like, 
and I want to look ashy and pale. Then on the side of that, I have the Wet n Wild Glitter Single in the shade um, Bleached. But it looks a little brown because my sister decided she was going to use it with my blending brush. So it was brown and like now it looks like that. Ew. So yeah. <clears throat> then in this tiny little contraption on top of my second biggest, my second biggest compartment, I have a bunch. So like I give my custom, my customers these tiny applicators if they want one when they go. There's like I have a Claire's wand, I have two Claire's wands, I have um this mark, no. This, yeah, this Mark one. I have one from my glitter palette. I have, I actually have two of those. Then I have one from the CoverGirl one and one from my Photo Ready one. I have a bunch of different ones. Only a couple of them are the, actually the same because, like, I got them in a pack or an eyeshadow pack because, like, I don't really use these. So, like, then I have two eyebrow and mascara things. So, yeah. That's what's up up at the top of it. Then next to that, I have my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade neutral. Let me see how much I have left. Oh my god, are you serious? That's it? That's my whole pencil? No, that's, that's not true. That's... No. That's a rip-off. My eyebrow pencil is almost freaking done. That's a ripoff. Well, it's not really a ripoff. It was only $2. I can buy more. <laughs> and then I have, I don't really use this though. It's the um, Gimme Brow Bene the Benefit Gimme Brow pencil. I stopped using this because like my client said it was hurting their eyebrows it scrapes them and then I have the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner not sure if you can see that oh there's some glitter there but it's really pretty I use it when I go to school so and then it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes Then I have the All May um, Pen Eyeliner. This was like $6. But it's really nice. It's not like running out like at all yet. So I'm going to sew my knees. So I'm going to put you up there now. So yeah. I'm going to switch these because these are shorter and these are taller and they need more space. <laughs> then... I'm going to move on to the last section. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I ha these like all fit like perfectly and it's so calming. Let me switch these because like, like, guys, it fits like so perfectly. Especially this. They fit me powder. When this goes on top, it fits like freaking perfectly. It fit me powder. It fits like freaking perfectly. <laughs> and it's so gorgeous. So first, obviously, my baby, the fit me powder. Yeah. So, I have the Fit Me Powder, Loose Powder, from Maybelline New York, in the shade 10 Fair Light. It's so, like, it's my freaking baby. <sighs> it's great for actually, like, to be honest, though, like, it's great for setting. I'm not just saying that, because it's my only loose powder. Well, like, it's my only, like, good powder, but, like, it's good. I'm just gonna keep this on my desk because you were my freaking baby. And then I have two of my. I might. I think I'm thinking of getting the butter bronzer 
but I have these two random bronzers. This one's broken. They're really dark on my face, even though, like, they're, like, just glitter. It just, whenever I use it, it just doesn't blend in right. And it makes my face look freaking brown and orange and not blended. <sighs> Nobody likes a unblended sister. Then I have two of these Revlon Photo Ready. They're the same ones. But this one's less used and this one's hit pan on multiple. So I bought a backup. They're both in the shade 505. Just this one's newer. See? Beautiful. Identical. See, they're identical twins. Wait, 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 wait. wait. See, they're identical twins. Then, I have this Bare Minerals blushy blush. But it's a loose powder, so it's like so freaking pigmented. Okay, that's great. Like, all of the powder is on the top. And there's, like, no powder left in the pan. It's, like, so freaking pigmented, so it makes it, you look like you got freaking punched in the face, y'all. Unless you don't blend it good. <laughs> and then I have my Spirit Halloween 24 Glitter Palette. My glitters, my babies. <sighs> It was only freaking ten dollars to like steal. <laughs> well, like don't steal it. But, like it's a good steal. It's a good steal. But I didn't steal it. You know you deserve to be down there. Then I have my two blushes. My my wet and wild blush in the shade. Pour Lesson Pink, which is so freaking gorgeous. Then I have my CoverGirl che Cheekers blush. Which is just like, you can't even see it. So like, it's a good no makeup but makeup. <coughs> it's a good no makeup but makeup look. And then, last two products <laughs> is my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Blanc Setting Spray. Mixed with my Rimmel Spray. It smells good. <sighs> it smells like chemicals. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, that'll make it set. I was about to say, I can pour it on my hand and remove the makeup. What are you doing? Then I have another MAC foundation. I want to get the cushion foundation, like the one where you press it in and the foundation goes that one. I'm getting it, like, tomorrow, I think. Maybe. And then I have the Studio Fix Fluid MAC one in the jar. And it's in the shade NW15. So that's all for today. I know you're like, well, she's trying to brag doing so many freaking makeup tutorials. I am not. Bye!